A former counselor at the North Korean embassy to Cuba, Lee Ilgyu, who defected to the South last year, has revealed confidential diplomatic cables that show Pyongyang's relentless drive to counter global pressure on its human rights record. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim jong shil has this report. Counselor Lee Ilgyu described the revelation as a North Korean version of WikiLeaks. The 12 diplomatic cables dating from 2016 to 2023 carry direct orders from leader Kim Jong-un to overseas workers aimed at countering global criticism of Pyongyang's human rights record. I decided to release these documents because I want the world to see that the horrific human rights abuses in North Korea lead directly back to Kim Jong-un. He's not ignoring the international criticism. He's fully aware of it and actively directing strategies to deflect and suppress it. Take a look at one example. A February 2020 diplomatic cable states, the enemy has malicious political intent to overthrow our country with barbaric sanctions, underscoring how the regime sees international human rights pressure not as a genuine concern, but as part of a broader geopolitical struggle. We asked Councillor Yi why Kim Jong-un is so concerned about international criticism on human rights, given that information is so restricted in North Korea that residents are unlikely to ever hear it. North Korea works tirelessly to block external information, but many channels still leak foreign news back into the country. When overseas workers return, stories of international condemnation of human rights inevitably spread among citizens, creating pressure on Kim Jong-un. Professor Lee Mulchul warns Councillor Lee's disclosures, while purposeful, may have unintended effects. While this can raise human rights awareness, it also leads to tighter uh, control over the elite. As long as uh, Kim Jong-un remains in power and feels insecure, major improvements are unlikely. Unification Minister Kim Young-ho said the government plans to intensify multifaceted efforts to bring real improvements to North Korea's human rights situation. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.